space fans could be in for a holiday treat. SpaceX's third Starship vehicle should be ready to fly in three to four weeks, company founder and CEO Elon Musk said via X, formerly known as Twitter, on Sunday, November 19. That would place technical readiness before Christmas, but there's no guarantee Starship will be cleared for liftoff by then. SpaceX still needs to secure a launch license from the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, which is overseeing an investigation into what happened Saturday, November 18, during Starship's second-ever test flight. Saturday's mission, which lifted off from SpaceX's Starbase site in South Texas, aimed to send Starship's upper stage most of the way around Earth, wrapping up with a splashdown in the Pacific Ocean near Hawaii 90 minutes after launch. But the flight ended about eight minutes in, with a rapid unscheduled disassembly of the craft. That wasn't the only explosion of the day. Starship's huge super heavy first stage was supposed to come back to Earth for a splashdown in the Gulf of Mexico about seven minutes after liftoff, but it broke apart high in the sky just after separating from the upper stage. Starship did notch some important milestones on flight number two, however, and chief among them was successful stage separation, which did not occur on the vehicle's first test flight this past April. That debut flight ended just four minutes after launch, with the commanded detonation of the tumbling Starship vehicle. In addition, a handful of Super Heavy's 33 Raptor engines conked out early during the April flight, whereas all of them appeared to burn for the proper duration on Saturday. Starbase orbital launch mount also seemed to emerge in scale this weekend, whereas the April launch blasted out a big crater beneath it. If you can't see SpaceX's Starship in person, you can score a model of your own. Standing at 13.77 inches 35 centimeters, this is a 1 to 375 ratio of SpaceX's Starship as a desktop model. The materials here are alloy steel and it weighs just 225 g. It ended up taking much longer than that for the vehicle to get off the ground, of course. The FAA didn't grant a launch license until November 15, after it had wrapped up an investigation into the explosion and conducted a safety review as well as an environmental assessment. It's unclear when the agency's investigation into Saturday's flight will end, it just got underway, after all. But, given the progress SpaceX made with Flight 2 compared to Flight 1, it would be surprising if there's another seven-month gap between Starship liftoffs. SpaceX certainly seems to be gearing up for an increased test flight cadence. There are three ships in final production in the Starbase, High Bay, as can be seen from the highway, Musk said in the Sunday X post.